So then talking about fitting the mask to your face, if you have an amazing mask, like it, the filter is wonderful, but air is leaking in all around the side of it, either, either at rest or when you're moving your head, then that mask is going to be much less effective because air that's unfiltered is getting in and you're breathing it in. So um, there are formal fit testing procedures that they do like in hospitals and healthcare settings where they actually have you put your mask on and they put you in this kind of like a hood and they nebulize some kind of really nasty, bitter tasting solution in there. And they have you move your head up and down, left and right, side to side, and see if you can taste that nasty, bitter stuff in your mouth through the mask. And if you can, it means it's not fitted well to your face. And so what they do then is they have you go back and either get a different size mask or they adjust the fit, like the nose bridge and, and where the straps are on your head and everything and retest it until you find one that's got a really good fit for you. Because that's the only point where the mask is safe to wear into a room where there's aerosol infection. Um, the US Army actually has a guide that is available for mask fitting in the field. Meaning if during like a high demand scenario, like a pandemic, if you can't get a certified mask or you can't get one that was pre-fit, how can you actually do the testing yourself? And they've got a good guide for that. And um, there's a YouTuber called Newstrom who actually walked through his own process of following that guide and doing fit testing on his own mask. The stuff he bought, it cost about $60. Um, the video is long, but it is time stamped. Um, and so we'll be sharing this link in Mighty Networks after, and it can walk you through and we'll have some links as well to just a formal fit testing kit that you can buy that's got all the same kind of equipment that you would use in a healthcare setting to, to formally fit test a mask to. It's just that's a more expensive option. You're looking at probably close to $300 for that kit, but it can be used for many, many, many uh, mask fit tests. Um, the other thing that's a possibility is if your mask is not really sealing that well to your face, particularly if you're using more of like a surgical mask or a cloth mask, um, there are these external straps that can, or mask braces that can fit over the mask and they can kind of seal it to your face better so that you get a better fit. Um, there's one called fix the mask picture to the right. There are several others as well. So the mask fit is really critical in making sure that the mask is working properly for you.